Just like lots of you out there, I am massively looking forward to watching Shogun. But they got something massively wrong already. Hi folks, Matt Eason here, Scholar Gladiatory. Now on my channel, obviously you're used to me talking about things like this uh, original Japanese wakasashi here and weapons of uh, edged nature, white weapons, um, edged weapons, rather than firearms. And in fact, I have uh, examples of rapiers and katana behind me, which actually date to the time of Shogun, which is around the year 1600. Now, like many of you out there, I'm massively looking forward to seeing this. And I've got to say, overall, the trailer looks amazing and the things that have been released the stills and everything else that have been released look absolutely amazing and I am a fan of the original novel as well which I've listened to the entirety of it's quite long on audiobook as well so I am hugely looking forward to it so I don't want this to be taken as in you know too negative light but there is something they've got massively wrong already and it's guns now I'm primarily known for swords and edged weapons but I, for many of you you might not know I am also a fan of firearms. I don't do an awful lot of firearms content on my channel, but I do actually shoot black powder weapons. So I shoot things like muzzle loading revolvers and I shoot Winchester lever actions, muzzle loading shotguns, muskets, and all sorts of other things like that, as well as modern firearms as well. Um, but Unfortunately, there is a type of pistol shown in the, uh, in fact, you can see it just about in the trailer, but we can also see it in some of the stills, which is basically about 100 years too late. So here's the important context. The novel by James Clavell features the uh, adventures of John Blackthorne. Now he should be based in the year 1600. Now, as far as I've seen so far, the Japanese arms and armor shown in this looks pretty good for around the year 1600. However, uh, Blackthorne himself should be armed with pistols that date to the year 1600 and they should be of an English design. What he's holding do not appear at all to be pistols that you'd find in the year 1600. In fact, they appear to be pistols we'd find from the very earliest, and this, this is based on what I can see in the images presented, about 1680 at the earliest, probably more like 1700, 1720. For comparison, that'd be a bit like someone running around in the US Civil War with John McClane's Beretta. Also, I hate to be the person to point this out, but you've got to cock them. Specifically, what he's shown holding is essentially a flintlock English pistol of the 1700s but he's supposed to be in 1600. So it just so happens I have a very useful bit here called The Complete Handgun 1300 to Present by Ian V. Hogg. Uh, it's a quick guide. It's not the most in-depth book in the world, but it's got some nice images in it. And right down here at the bottom there, we have a pistol from circa 1600, and it's an English dog lock. Uh, that's right, there's various types of lock which become uh, come before Flint locks. Um, there's um, uh, snap haunches, for example. There's wheel locks, and there's dog locks, and of course there's match locks as well, which don't use a flint at all. And what's shown very clearly in the trailer is what seem to be a pair of flint locks, later 1700s flint locks. Now the dog lock, in fairness, does superficially look very like a flint lock, so I could excuse that. But if you look at the overall shape of the pistol, particularly with this sort of pommel-like sword-like pommel. Um, extension at the end and the overall shape of it, it's very clear that what uh, Blackthorn's holding in the trailer and the stills is unfortunately a 1700s flintlock, not an Elizabethan or circa 1600 um, doglock or something similar to that. So there we go. It's not a massive, massive thing, but for weapon aficionados, I've been asked a lot to respond to the trailer, looking at the swords or the Yari or the Naginata or the armor. But the fact is, this was the first thing that caught my eye, was actually that the pistols were wrong. Uh, so anyway, hopefully the rest of the series is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully the Japanese arms and armor will be great, but maybe if you come back to this channel in coming weeks, as we see more of it, I might have some things to say about both the arms and armor and the combat featured in the series, but I am massively looking forward to it. So don't be too discouraged by the fact that the pistols are terribly wrong. Um, they are, pretty badly wrong, but not like horrifically wrong. I will overlook it. I will imagine it's a dog lock of circa 1600 uh, as shown down there. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you back on the channel really soon. Um, and uh, I, I, I've been Matt Eaton. I'll continue to be, and I'll see you really soon. Cheers, folks.